So this is Mr. Hop's Mano Escape. Oh wow. The thing is, this so, right. I don't know why, but this hits different compared to other Mr. Hop's games. The music's slower, it's more tense for some reason. And it's not like multiple options or anything, it's just this purple void and just a simple. Oh, okay. Guys, I wanted to play this game for since October, since it came out, and I never really got a chance. But what I do know about this game is you basically are putting a 3D map of the manor. Well, it's not exactly 3D, but you'll see in a second. Wait, can you change the character, or is it only... Oh wait, what? This is... This is so weird, why'd you... There's extras, and there's quick... Oh, that... This is so weird, man, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this. Well, I am a fan of this, sorry. I shouldn't have said I wasn't, I am. FPS, can I turn this up? No, but you can turn it down. Just in case you didn't know, guys. Well, obviously, it doesn't really matter. Okay, well, that's options. What's extras? So there's an extras menu, but what's here? You got perks. Oh. Well, I'm gonna originally start without any items just so I get a hang of like what to expect. And then you got like cosmetic items. So I wonder if you can 100% this game then. Outfit, oh, You can... This is so cool, they got so many like, uh, customizable stuff. You got eyes. What? Face. Pets. Oh, uh, I, I want... Wait, there was like a... There was something I saw. Yeah, it popped off an icon of a dog. There must be a bug, but I know there is a dog now. Okay. So, what is this exactly then? Yeah, let's just do practice and... Wait. Oh, I did hear there was like more characters in this, so I don't know. So, all of these guys are out, and so, uh, none of them, and it's just me. So, I'm gonna do practice, okay? Oh, cutscene. Yo, this, this is, this is so cool. I am already loving this. Does this tie into the main game by any chance, or is this just like a one-off thing? Uh, okay, so like I said, it's a 3D plane in the sense of like, up, down, whatever. Uh... E and is it right click? How do you drop stuff? What if I need to drop it? I need three stone tablets to open this door. Oh, you can do baits. I like that. I already like this. But why do we hold the scissors like up in the air? What is the point of that? Oh, so it's just E to interact with everything. Then can we sprint? Or is there just, or is that just not a thing anymore? Right, so I don't know what button you're supposed to press for this game. I'm gonna just go through every, uh, cause there's no, there's no like, there's no instructions. So that's why I did practice. I need to know the buttons before I actually. Is it F E Q R T H J K N N O oh, what? Ah. <sighs> Can, can I just not put these down? So imagine if it's like this, you... Wait, what? Oh, you only get four... Ah, okay, so I can mark them. Wait, can you take the mark off, though? Is that... Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh! By any chance, is this the same map that we've played on before? Or is it... Because remember, the map we played on before uh, was flat in terms of design, so... Yeah, because I recognise some of these rooms, but it doesn't feel the same going around it. Oh! I know what to use this hammer for. We can use it on this. Yep, smash it! No, we're not. 
I'm smashing it. Oh, okay. Be like that then, whatever. Cool. Any items in here worth grabbing? Oh, wait. We're outside? Man, this map is so big, but this, the, to the Toyo doesn't... Ah, that needs the key. So imagine if fuse box could be in that shed. There's a small sand pit. There's apples. What do, wait, wait, what do these do? Do you eat them? I am so confused right now. Obviously, I'm doing practice just so I... Because I don't know, like, what to do. It doesn't say get this. Get, ta I'm pressing tab to see if it gives you instructions. It is sort of annoying, to be fair. Painting pe... Oh, what? I d what? There's so many items just scattered around, but there's no clear instruction as to what to do. Right, what, what do the medallions even do? Right, it's good I'm doing practice just so I get an idea of a uh, what to, uh, what I need to get done. Yeah, what I'm thinking, right, is one video per difficulty, so... Uh, this first video will be easy with the practice mode, second video will be uh, easy. I feel like practice will be longer than easy because once I finish this I kind of get an understanding for what I have to do. Because I sort of just jump straight into it. Oh, I think I know the smaller pieces. So I wonder if things connect up or not. What the hell is that? Oh, that, that. I could cut the scissors. There we go. So the scissors don't work for that because that is like the most obvious hint. You know, scissors, you cut stuff with it. What is this though? Oh. Man, this is taking so much longer than what I thought it would. And it doesn't help, it's like 2am, so I don't even know, like... I honestly thought, I thought this video would be like 10 minutes and done. But turns out it's taking longer. But it's okay, practice makes perfect. Because I plan to do the really difficult modes, like all of the modes I will do. Oh, painting piece. Listen, I'm desperate for something to happen, I will just leave things where... I've Oh, here's where the basement is. Oh, okay. Fire off the boards. Uh, anything else? I swear the basement was much bigger in the uh, uh, in the second game. Well, yeah, it was. Oh, there's a bucket. Okay, do you know what? Stick to, stick to what we know, okay? So there's three levels. Well, let's just split this off into four sections. Ground floor, upper floor basement and garden well outside currently let's just focus on the ground floor and the first floor I don't know if there's a floor above that one or not right I got a piece yes I did something it only took 20 minutes of my time Okay, well, I just gotta find this other one now. I gotta remember, next time I play this game, I have a notepad next to me or something. Also, why can't I open this door? I can't even mark it, it's just there. Right, let's see if I can... Right, it, it says a fuse. Uh, drop that there. Coal. Maybe I can use this to heat it up. Uh, what about the lighters? Can I use that? Well, the match it. Uh, sorry. If on the way I find uh, the uh, matches, that would be amazing. Yes, I just found the matches on the way to painting. Let's get this done. Um, 
Okay. Well, a summon. Boy, that needs to be heated, so I'm just thinking, like, can I... Right. Noth There's literally nothing in this room. So I'm mark it with a circle. F. Valve. That's going to be for the basement. I already know it is. Is there like a way if you spam... Wait, is it possible to... Uh, I was hoping it would be possible to like spam ENF at the same time. And then, um, right, so do you remember when the Fortnite back, uh, do you remember playing Fortnite when it was relevant? And, wait, sorry, I shouldn't really insult Fortnite kids like that. But anyway, right, so do you remember in Fortnite how there was an exploit of if there was an extra item you need to carry into the eye of the storm, you would pick up a weapon and then pick up the other weapon that drops from the slot and you just keep spamming uh, the pick up button. Or uh, whatever that may be, and that's how you um, you manage to kind of like it. It would take longer to get the stuff to there, but that's how you took two things at once. It's like a uh, weird swapping exploit. I could open this and boiler heats the house, right? It looks like that could maybe take a valve gear because of the little. S oh, that is guarding something. Right, I'm gonna leave this here. Actually, no, take that with me. Never leave an item by itself. She kind of gave you instructions and just kind of gave you a better sense of uh, the map and just told you, you know, the buttons and what they do probably stuff you probably will have to worry about and stuff that's not really worth it drop that fuse hey I got achievement bright spark so now we have power what's the difference oh, where are I going there I meant to pick up I could cut what can I pick this? Is this like fl Why can't I pick it up? This it said valve, and now it's just. Oh, that's annoying. No, that's referring to that. So I can't pick up this now. Wait, what? Do I have to restart it or something? Is this is that a bug? What well, shouldn't be? No, that wouldn't make sense. There we go. There's this, this, this. I would really make a, um, all the places that have hiding spots, like closets and whatnot. I would probably mark those with the diamonds just to, um, just to represent that I can hide there, obviously, for later on. Not now, there's no use for it, but. Can I use the hammer? Because it might need it might mean the crowbar as well, but I can try and see if it will accept the hammer. Oh, it does. Oh, we just ignore the fact there's two. Wait, do we just do we pick up the whole? Okay, right. It makes sense if you're holding something like this while you're holding it like that. But all the other items, like a screwdriver, and then you hold it up with both hands above your head. Like, what is, what is that? Right. So this room we need to go to. No, it's the library we need to go to. What? How is that not heavy enough? Honestly, can I bug out items? Can I make them 
I'm not supposed to pick up. Because it's annoying me now, it's glowing and. Uh, I might have to restart. So now I've restarted and I got an idea for what I need to do. Right, take this down to the basement. Right, I know where the painting piece is, so we'll start with that first. Wait, where's the bit? Why is it here now? Wait, what? Oh, it's so annoying. Are oh, this is other things you need to uh to like do still there? Okay. I right, don't need a screwdriver anymore. I'll leave it down there. So as you can see, I'm starting to get the hang of the game a little bit more now. Only took me 40 minutes. I dropped a rope. I don't have a use for a rope, but I have a use for the fuse. I have a use for the fuse. Oh, don't, don't be like that. Okay, I, I got. I was almost in a panic because I thought. I'd maybe bumped into another exploit where an item can't be picked up anymore. But I do know the developers do do updates every now and again, so... That's promising. I have an apple, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Just Let's see what else is out here, if anything. I'd still done a line. Right, right I'm going to take a screenshot of that. I right, drop, take that. Uh, on the way back, if I find a room with uh, the vault. It's a bedroom, right? Yeah, it's a bedroom with it. In, it's a room with a bed. Sorry. Well, yeah. Bedroom. Sorry, guys. It's, it's, it's half two in the morning, okay? I'm stumbling over my words a little here, but you get the point. Here we go. See, I've already forgotten it, so that's why we're gonna go to. Okay, so it was zero, three, sixty. So we're gonna. What is that? What? What does that mean? I can already see each part being like incredibly long to record and possibly to edit as well. Oh, I'm a gatherer, I don't know what that means. So I unlock this, I get a barrel. What can I do with that? What's the f What? happens what's going on did you guys hear that it was the uh, magic thing you know the uh, sound effect um, made when you do that magic falsehood thing right this thing what else can we do right that bucket we found from earlier right it what oh huh Trap door key. Okay, well, it's so random. So the boiler you put on, the ice melts. Uh, I guess that makes sense actually, when you think about it. So the red key. What does a red key do? Well, I imagine it's got something to do with red. Do rats eat apples? I don't know, but it's the only thing that that can eat something. So you know, I'm kind of getting desperate. Oh. Huh? Gate key. What, what did I have to... Did I just... Is it the apple that it wanted? What's... Okay, do you know what? So apparently if you drop stuff, it interacts as well. Okay, i got to remember that then. Right, let's go to the kitchen, which is where we get outside. Okay, remember. 
So I've got to remember, blank ones are like rooms that are important just to get through. Uh, gate key, gate key. I'm gonna leave that there actually, just for now. Trap door key. It's the red key, right? So we gotta go to the green half and then look around. I think it's in the closet where I found the bucket. See, I, I should have left the trap door key outside. I was thinking in my head, watch the trap door be uh, behind the black gate there, and it is. Which is pretty typical of me. But I just remembered, guys, as well. When I beat this practice thing, right? I remember there's like um, upgrades you can get. So I was sat here complaining about how slow and sluggish I was and stuff. But hopefully I can get these upgrades and they will help improve the experience. Was that an ending? Did I escape? I got what? Huh? What? Wait, that was an ending? I thought we, the whole point was to escape, not to... Well, I do like this game, it's just a bit... It's a bit slow at the beginning is what I'm saying and then I, I hopefully it starts to speed up a little bit so you can buy things like outfits and that no I think um, you, you have to buy them don't you thing is I ain't gonna spend my money on an outfit so at least not for now right maybe one day I'll do a video on it but not now Unless if there's a um something, well, actually now I'm thinking, unless if there's something that you can get, yeah, you know, of having the cosmetics, like they actually will give you a secret or something. Also, on that thing now, I got the bronze ending, which is the trap door. So I imagine there's other endings then. Right, let's think. This is speed. Uh, let's go for this one. So, we can't get this one or anything like that. We don't have enough. Wait, what's this? What's this? That one was two. Uh, we can get them again and again. Oh, okay, yeah. That's pretty cool actually. Here, there's like an arrow. As if we can change character somehow. And I don't know, I did hear as well on the thing. And let's go and have a look real quick. Right. So I did hear that you could apparently play with multiple characters. Not sure how true that is. I swear you could play as like Molly and Isaac as well. Esther, Ruby, Molly, or I. Oh, we could put Ruby as well. Wait, what? She's gonna be in, like the updated style. Alright, so let me just see for next time. I'm not gonna do it now because now is just too much. Does it let me change? No. But it lets me have one of them at a time. Uh, I want. I wonder they uh, like move differently as well. Oh, it's 3 a.m. right now, and we're gonna end the video. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, please let me know by subscribing and liking. Yeah, I've been recording for a long time, so this video will probably take a, quite a while to come out. And this video might be a longer video as well. I'm not sure. It depends on how I feel about it. If anything, this video could be a two-parter because I uh, split it down the middle during editing or something. I'm not sure. Well, obviously, you guys know because you'll be watching it, but I don't. So, anyway, next time I play this game, uh, we're going to be doing the normal difficulty. I think I'll just have Mr. Hop on that one, and then from there, I'll see if I can do a bit of bit of research. Actually, no, I don't want to do too much research. I want to just kind of play get an get idea and see if we can unlock other characters because we got the three kids from Mr. Hops 2 and Ruby as well so that would be quite interesting 
but it's just obviously a. Uh, when do we get them? Well, I don't actually know when we get them. But I imagine, right, so we start with Esther, then let's say we do normal and we get another character, then we do hard, we get another one, and very hard, and we get uh, Ruby or something. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.